Mexican Teresa today on Colorado Martini. So what is chorizo? Chorizo is a Mexican and Spanish type sausage. It's spicy. It's usually made with vinegar. Um, sometimes has paprika and chili powder in it and garlic, depending on whether you're making the Spanish or Mexican version. My version, I make with red wine vinegar, garlic, paprika, chili powder, oregano. I is just full of wonderful spices. And it is awesome put in scrambled eggs, tacos, you name it. Any kind of um, Hispanic type dish, chorizo is just marvelous in. It's not overly hot, but it does have that spicy twang to it. So we're going to start with two pounds of lean pork. And one clove of minced garlic. If you don't have a um, garlic press like I do, um, you can just cut it up very finely. A fourth of a cup of red wine vinegar, and you want to use red wine vinegar, not another kind of vinegar. It's what gives it a great flavor. And then you want to put in two tablespoons of uh, chili powder. So it gives it its twang. Another word for hotness. So then you're going to put in two tablespoons of dried oregano. Um, you want to make sure that you break up the oregano. If you don't have a mortar and pistol, um, make sure that you um, Crush it up between your fingers. Um, you basically just go like this. And what that does is that opens up the aroma um, and flavor of any kind of herb uh, that you put in your food. So I prefer mortar and pistol. And your fingers don't get all smelly with the herbs. Then you're going to add some paprika. You can pretty much use any kind of paprika that you uh, like. Um, a sweeter kind of paprika uh, makes it even better. Um, and so the chili powder and paprika is what gives chorizo its distinctive red um, look to it. So next we're going to put in um, a half a teaspoon of cumin. Um, if you've never used cumin before, it's very prevalent in Mexican food. Um, it's spelled C-U-M-I-N. Um, uh, we also use it a lot in Indian food um, or Mediterranean, uh, Southern Mediterranean type food. Um, but it's pretty much in a lot of dishes um, that are Mexican style. Next, we're going to put in some uh, salt. And we put in a teaspoon of salt. Um, I always use Himalayan or sea salt. I never use table salt uh, because this is more nutritious um, than regular table salt. And it also doesn't carry all the chemicals that they put in regular uh, table salt that keeps it from clumping. Um, so definitely always use Himalayan or sea salt or Celtic salt. Um, I am not a big believer in using table salt. So to top it all off, um, I put in some ground pepper. Um, I don't usually measure this out. I just kind of put a couple of dashes of ground pepper in it. And so now what you're going to do is you're going to mix this all together with your very clean hands. Um, so we are just going to make sure this is all blended very well. And then once it's all blended, um, I am going to put a lid on top of this bowl. Um, and I'm going to put it in the refrigerator to marry, another word for marinate, um, for a minimum of 30 minutes. Um, I actually prefer to do this overnight. Um, because it just gets a better flavor 
um, if it's had at least eight hours of marinating. If you do do that, uh, put it in a plastic Ziploc bag um, just to keep it fresh. I'm making a mess. Um, so you want to mix this really, really well. And once that it's finished marinating, then you can fry it up, put it in tacos, um, put it in egg, scrambled eggs, which is my personal favorite, and make like a, a morning taco um, with chorizo and eggs. It's to die for. Chorizo is also really good mixed with um, like, like a potato, like a fried potato in the morning um, or in a breakfast burrito. Um, it's to die for. I just love chorizo and I've just made my own for many, many years now. All right, so I'm going to put this in a Ziploc bag and I'm going to put it um, some in the freezer or actually in the refrigerator and once it marries then I'll put some in the uh, freezer um, so I can, you know, have it on an ongoing basis. So we're going to go ahead and put this in the refrigerator for a minimum of 30 minutes. Eight hours is even better, but if you're in a hurry, let it marry for about 30 minutes. And when it comes out, it will be absorbed, all that wonderful flavors. So I'm going to go ahead and make a dish with the chorizo that's already marinated in the refrigerator. Um, I am going to make some uh, egg tacos with it. I, over some high heat, I have the chorizo frying up. Um, I have six eggs all whipped up and ready to put in this once it's browned. Um, so it being pork sausage, I'm going to make sure that I cook it really well. Um, and the browning of the meat um, is really what gives it a great flavor. Any meat you should always brown. Um, that's what gives meat great flavor. Um, so as I fry this up over a high heat, um, it's going to start releasing some of the juices um, that it absorbed during the marinating process. Um, so the red wine vinegar, and it's going to start looking very a lot more reddish than it does now. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stir this up until it fries really well. And that usually takes a few minutes. Alright, so now our chorizo is all fried and browned and it just looks marvelous. So I'm going to lower my heat. And you can see over here I'm also making some corn tortillas uh, for my tacos. This is a flat iron. Um, if you want to make Mexican food, it's uh, a utensil that you cannot live without. Um, it, so I basically am heating these up on the flat iron and I just continuously flip them and it will make the tortillas get very soft um, and pliable. So I've turned down my heat and now I'm going to put in my eggs. scramble these in my eggs. Now once these are done I am going to turn off my heat and then I'm going to grate some cheese um, into the eggs. You always grate your cheese into scramble eggs after you removed it from the heat. You never put the cheese in as you're scrambling um, because then you just get eggs that are just overly mixed with cheese. Um, and you want your cheese to be more separated from the eggs. So if you put it in um, after the eggs are done, then you have more of a pocket of, of cheese within your eggs instead of cheesy eggs. Um, and then um, when this is all done, then we're going to go ahead and put them into our tortillas. And they just make marvelous breakfast tacos. Um, you can even have them for dinner and lunch. Uh, we're actually having them for for lunch today. I'm going to turn up my heat a little bit. So once these are done, we'll add the cheese. Okay, so now our eggs are done. Um, I'm turning off the heat, flipping my tortillas. They're nice and pliable. Sometimes I kind of overcook them because I do like them crispy. Um, so you can put this into burritos if you want um, and make a breakfast burrito. 
or you can put it in corn tortillas like I do and make tacos. Um, I do not eat wheat, um, so I don't eat the flour tortillas. Um, miss them so much. Um, but I put everything in corn tortillas because of that. Um, so you can see I'm grating. This is actually cheddar cheese. It's a white cheddar cheese um, that I absolutely love. Um, it's like a sharp cheddar. Uh, cheddar and Mexican food go very, very well together. So, okay, so we have our cheese in there, and I'm just going to spread it around and not overly mix it into the eggs. I'm going to remove it from the heat. So you see how much better that is putting the cheese in afterwards. Um, then it's, you know, it's a, so much better than just... Uh, throwing it in and mixing it, over mixing it. So you just basically just put them in here and you have a wonderful chorizo egg taco. Today's recipe is down below in the description or try our website at coloradomartinis.com. That's martinis with an S.